Hi, this is Jay from Live Action, and I want to take a moment today to explain why LiveWire will make an excellent addition to your LiveNX monitoring solution. As a LiveNX user, you know LiveNX is already a very powerful network monitoring and application troubleshooting solution. But by adding LiveWire into your LiveNX infrastructure, you can take advantage of packets, something that most other systems just don't offer. With LiveWire, you can generate flow data directly from packets and send that up to LiveNX, adding to the rich network monitoring data that already exists in LiveNX. And you can also save those packets with LiveWire for detailed root cause analysis should packet level analysis become necessary. So what specifically is it that LiveWire can do for you? There are three main things to consider. One, LiveWire adds visibility where none exists today. This could be because perhaps the network infrastructure devices don't generate flow where you're at, or perhaps those devices are somewhat oversubscribed, and by turning on flow, you're going to cause those devices to perform poorly, or maybe even drop packets on the network. And lastly, LiveWire provides complete visibility in virtual and cloud environments. In these cases, it's very difficult to generate any flow-based data for monitoring. But with LiveWire Virtual, you can generate flow from packets, whether it's north-south or east-west traffic that you're interested in monitoring. Second, once you add LiveWire, you're just a single click away from packet data from within the LiveNX dashboard. So, for example, from within LiveNX, you can solve most of your problems with flow data. But there's a few instances where maybe you just need to get to packet data to be able to understand more deeply the problem and to be able to troubleshoot that problem. With the addition of LiveWire, it's just a single click to get to those packets. And lastly, because we're generating the flow data based on packets, we can enhance flow data beyond what is typical today from pretty much any other device that's generating NetFlow or IP fix for network monitoring. In the generated flow from LiveWire, we're able to add TCP metrics and VoIP details that you just don't find today in other systems. Let's take a moment to more graphically explain these three points. First, adding visibility where none exists today. Well, in LiveNX, you might see a screen like this today, right? Where you've got your view across pretty much the entire network, in this case, globally, with London as part of the mix. But you notice there's a few areas, like Birmingham, DC, New York, and Austin, where there's limited visibility inside those areas. We're still getting the interconnectivity between those offices and the other locations, but we have limited visibility within the locations themselves. But by adding LiveWire to those areas, you can see that we significantly increase the visibility inside of the Birmingham, DC, New York, and Austin locations, to where now we have full visibility even in the internal networks in those areas. And the reason for that is because the network devices that were in those locations weren't generating flow before. But now with a LiveWire device, we're able to extend that visibility and generate flow data for monitoring even in those three locations. Now let's address the single click from flow to packets when you want to do more detailed analysis. For this case, we'll switch over to a LiveNX demonstration, and you can see what we're looking at right now is the alerts view in the main dashboard area of LiveNX. There are many alerts here. Picking one, for example, I see about two thirds of the way down, there's an alert for an RTP audio that has excessive jitter of 863.45 milliseconds. We may want to know more about that. Well, LiveNX already offers us that, right? We can click on the flow and get more detailed information. But maybe in this particular case, we're just not there. It's just not enough. We just don't know maybe where the jitter is occurring in the call. Was it all throughout? the call? Was it in part of the call? We may want to more deeply analyze that. Well, you can see in the right-hand panel in the detailed area for this flow at the bottom, it says cross launch and then packet inspection peak. I can click on that button and it gives me an instant connection from LiveNX to LiveNX Peak, our web-based application for analyzing packets. And because it was a LiveWire device that was generating that flow, we're now able to get directly to the packets for that particular voice call with the very high jitter. So we can change the name to something that makes it easier to find later and we can start our forensic search. It's now complete, and we can go in and look at the results. For this particular case, since we know it was a, a voice and video issue, I can go directly to our voice and video tab in the media flows view where we break down the call. And as you can see, we were able to filter right from the flow in LiveNX into the packets for just this call to make our analysis very easy. And we can see we have a jitter column here, and you can see that the average jitter we've seen across the call is pretty bad. It's in the 400 millisecond range. But our alert reported even higher jitter than that. So what we can do in this case is to look at our flow visualizer and to look at the RTP graph for the call. And then you you can see in this case that right at the beginning of the call, we were indeed seeing jitter in excess of 800 milliseconds. And for a fairly long time in the call, for probably at least a minute, this was probably a very bad experience for this user. So again, this illustrates the ability to extend LiveNX even further to be able to not just report on flow-based data that was generated from packets, but also to navigate directly back to those packets for detailed troubleshooting. 
And lastly, let me give you a brief look into the enhanced flow data we're able to do based on this packet analysis. So for that, let's just go into the home page for LiveNX Peak, and then over to the Captures tab, and then we'll start a new Live Flow Capture. When we click on that and scroll down a little bit, you'll see the area of the capture that describes the live flow. And you can see in this area, we're able to generate application performance data, you know, including application delay, network delay, server network delay, low level TCP events like connection lost, connection refused, low window and zero window size. So all things you won't get today from traditional NetFlow or even the richer IP fix data that you get from some switches and routers. We're able to do TCP retransmissions. We can get your basic flow. We can report on VLAN, VXLAN, MPLS. We can do voice and video performance, including codec, jitter, MOS, packet loss, even the phone number in the signaling DN area, should you choose to enable that as well, giving you much richer analytics from flow than you would get today from traditional NetFlow or IP fix. So in conclusion, adding a live wire into your live and installation can significantly increase your visibility especially in areas where NetFlow or IP fix is not available today from your routers and switches. LiveWire will directly add that for you right out of the gate. It will also provide the ability to navigate with a single click from flow back into packets for analysis when flow data is just not enough to get to the root cause of a problem. And lastly, the flow data created by a live wire is much richer than that typically found from NetFlow devices. We're able to add things like TCP metrics, retransmissions, even VoIP data like jitter and phone numbers into the rich flow data that we send to LiveNX to even more greatly increase visibility of network and application performance on your network. So as a LiveNX customer today, I hope you look into LiveWire and see all it can do in terms of enhancing your current LiveNX installation. Thank you.